What's up everybody? My name is Brian. I'm Stephanie. And you guys watching Brian from Orlando. Today's video is actually going to go ahead and be about Halloween Horror Nights. The canceled event. Remember that? When they yeah. cancel it? Bummer. However, there is in the social media world of Halloween Horror Nights and uh, all those speculation threads, there has been the rumor mill, the train has been going again for the event to still happen? Question mark? Big question mark. <laughs> um, to what extent? We don't know yet. Or at all. <laughs> or at all. Uh, yet again, could not be true. So, could not be true. It could not be true. It could not be true. <laughs> it might not be true. It may not be true. We'll get to that in a minute. But if you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that little bell icon to be notified when we post our new weekly videos, especially with these new interesting ideas, rumors, whatever they're called. These things that the world is happening happenings are coming out <laughs> so stay tuned just before we get started just want to put this out there a little disclaimer all these things that we do talk about none of it is confirmed except for one thing there is one thing confirmed and we'll get to that in the video but Everything we talk about is all rumor. None of it's like actual facts yet until Universal comes out and states that what is happening is happening. This is all rumor. Yeah. Could all just be a load of garbage. <laughs> so, but we'll find out very soon. Hopefully. Very soon. Like this weekend soon. Maybe. This weekend soon. So, reason being why I'm saying this weekend soon is uh, right now, today is Friday, the day that we're recording this, and Halloween Horror Nights, a couple weeks ago, they obviously put out the big announcement that HHN 30 is canceled, which broke everybody's little heart, um, including mine, but... Especially mine. Hers is destroyed. However, though, even at the time of cancellation, the rumor mill, it's still chugging along. A lot of people have not given up hope on Halloween this year. They don't want no, Halloween to get canceled. A lot of things have been like destroyed this year, but <laughs> Halloween was one of those that was lined up on the block and got shot. However, <laughs> however, though, people, harsh. it is harsh. That's how this year has felt, and everybody can relate to that. But like, the whole like Halloween Horror Nights speculation threads that are on social media, they've been talking about, and this is where we get all of this whole video is coming from these uh, these threads that we're talking about. None of this is things that we're producing or making up um, until maybe the end. We may talk about some of our speculations and all what we think can happen, um, but most of this is rumors that we're getting from the social media world. But they were talking about how Horror Nights could still put some houses out for daytime guests, daily operations. Um, that was a couple weeks ago. People were talking about it. Kind of lost its wheels on the tracks until recently we heard that inside Universal team members have been getting this special offer for a seasonal opportunity with Universal. Um, is it Halloween Horror Nights related? I have no idea. We have no idea. But that's what's been going on. Um, and then a lot of people are saying, wait a minute, the houses have already been built, especially the ones in the soundstage. They're not using the soundstage for any like video recordings or filming or anything like that right now. That so that we know of. I mean, again, we don't know anything yet. But with the way that 2020 has been going on, they're really not using those sound stages much. Uh, so I'm assuming the houses are still there. And then recently, uh, yet again, all from online, people have been saying that the houses had permits filed for, uh, I guess, like run-throughs were, I don't know, higher up people were going in and making sure everything was good and checked or whatever. So that that's one thing I was hearing. I'm like, it's pretty interesting. Hmm. Yeah. And then recently, of course, uh, team members have been getting some special offer cast emails for an opportunity. Yeah. An opportunity. They don't, the, at least none of the ones that we've heard of have said what the opportunity is mm -hmm. or what the role is. Um, or even if it is a role. Yeah, it, yeah, I mean, it just says, like, a seasonal opportunity or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Somebody was so. saying online that team members were receiving some seasonal opportunity. So, could even be for Christmas, for all we know, to yeah. be honest. But, speculations out there are saying that Horror Nights is still going to go ahead and put on a few houses for some daily operations. Now, why do we have backup for that? Well, Halloween Horror Nights, the Instagram account, as well, I don't know if they have Facebook, but... 
Twitter as well. I'm pretty sure they do. But uh, those accounts we do follow, and very recently, well, I'm going to go back a few weeks ago, they've been saying that they want to do as much as they can for us because they know that Halloween's kind of, or Halloween Horror Nights in general, it's a big deal for a lot of people. So they wanted to try to put out as much as they can virtually for all of us to experience and enjoy, especially past memories. However, the very most recent tweet that Halloween Horror Nights put out was that this weekend, and like I said, today's a recording of Friday, this weekend, as in either tonight or tomorrow or Sunday, they were going to have some seance. Um, it is a, a tweet that is pretty normal of that account. They, they do tweet out, mm -hmm. like, just random like Halloween type things. Yeah. So the tweet was like, "Is anybody up for a seance this weekend?" or something like that. Mm -hmm. But like, we'll, we'll put the little tweet in here so you guys can see it. Yeah. It'll probably be like right here. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. So Horror Nights does put some of those little fun themed tweets out there. However, I think it has to do with a potential small event. Um, the event. We don't know if it's going to be like a separate ticket thing or whatever, but the the whole thing that it looks like it's going to be is a daily operated, like during their daily operations, they're just going to have mm -hmm. some haunted house attractions to also uh, experience. Now, like, like they did two years ago with the Stranger Things house that they mm -hmm. left up for a week after Horror Nights ended. It was for the Stranger right? Things Day. It was for Stranger yeah. Things Day. They kept that it up. It was just the one day, right? Just that one day. Yeah. That one house similar, for the whole day. Similar to that, though. Yeah. So, that's what we're thinking. It could be some completely different, but um, it looks like the way everyone's talking about it, it could be something during the day. Or also, like, the Walking Dead house in California. They have that all year round. All day, right? They do? Yeah. They have a Walking oh. Dead, like experience it yeah right? but it's like a haunted house it's like a horror night's house that you go huh. through I, I didn't know that but so it'd be similar to that okay but i don't it wouldn't be all year it's just yeah it's just for the thing. seasonal yeah. thing okay um so anyways yeah so people were saying like could this be this tweet that they had for this weekend be an announcement for what's going on um some people were saying that it's going to be two houses that open up some people say five some say more some say less yeah. um of course none of it is confirmed until universal or even horror nights at least puts it out there for us to to pretty much indulge in earlier this morning we actually received some photos online that the portal entries for the queue portal. lines the portal I like that right pretty cool portal, portal. Uh, but yeah, just like the little uh, the sign that shows the wait time for the houses and the the warnings and all that stuff, and basically a description of the house. Um, the entrance signs for those, the trussings at least, have gone up. Those are up and at the entrance to usually where some houses are by the sound stages. Mm -hmm. There's no actual thing besides the trussing that's up. It's just an empty basically platform right now. Um, but assuming that's what it's going to be for it, it they are like the two of them that are up mm -hmm. are literally exactly where they normally go for hhn yep. it's the one that's right behind um i forget what sound stage it is but right behind the stage in front of a pride rocket where yeah, that line is in front of that, i think that's sound stage 21 or 20 i can't remember so I sound stage numbers i i don't remember but it's like if we go back to last year's event the one uh, that we're going to post right here in this picture is the one that's in front of that sound state, that little stage area, and the hub grass. Yes. Hub grass. Oh my gosh, a Disney reference. <sighs> the turf. The grass, yeah. the grass area it by was Rip where Ride. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters was. were, and then the next one, which I think it was Yeti. Was it Yeti? It was either Yeti, Stranger Things, or us. Those, those are locations of where they usually put those uh, entrance signs up. So those signs actually went up this morning. There is uh, just the trussing of it. Uh, so we're thinking, okay, maybe these are actually for houses that they're getting prepared to open up and everything. And then a lot of people are saying that this next weekend coming up, that is a potential opening. Because if you go into the Universal website and you actually look at their park hours, they get extended for those nights. Um, so it's like, hmm, is it just a weekend night on, or a weekend event? Don't know. Is it an all day event thing that they're going to have for? I keep saying the word event. What I mean by event is like that haunted houses are going to be open. Yeah. They're like, is it going to be all day? I don't know. For you guys that have been the Horror Nights or for you guys who haven't been the Horror Nights, you know what it's like going first thing 
as soon as Horror Nights opens into a haunted house, you can barely see, uh, especially with it being light out. So with or or if you did the the Stranger Things Day house, yeah, I did that. I actually did. I went through the house once during Stranger Things Day, and the man in front of me got lost, and we followed him, and everybody was backstage because he couldn't see. Can't see because it's <laughs> it's bright as heck in Florida. Yeah. So that could be an issue. Um, so I'm wondering if they're going to have it only open for later in the night. I will also say that if they do these houses, um, if people are wondering like how they're going to do it with the whole social distancing, they're probably going to pulse through the house. So like group by group, not stacked in one line, but kind of separate people throughout the line and give it some time and then have people go through. I think just by a Horror Nights experience, that would be something incredibly cool to experience because you and your own little group is pretty much going to be on your own throughout the house. Yeah. So, unless you're like me, I will catch up to the people in front of me in a heartbeat. So, but anyways, that's going to do it for us in today's little rumor video. Yet again, none of it's true until it is all said and cleared by Universal and Halloween Horror Nights. We're hoping all of that, of what we talked about, is true. Because yeah. it would be nice to at least get to some Halloween extent at yeah. Universal. Because we do miss our Horror Nights, and this year would have been the 30th anniversary. So, anyways, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Both Steph and I are hoping that these rumors and speculations that are stirred around, at least some portion of them are true. I know with yeah. the pictures that came out today and with Horror Nights kind of tweeting out this little thing going on this weekend um, could mean some great news for us horror fans. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video. And just remember, the best is still yet to come. Ooh.